Well guys, this is part two of this video. Um, this is all set up now, ready to go. I've got the carrier. Um, lathe dog there. It's... All that is is a collar. Um, there's a... A... Um, a spacer collar for a transmission or biomed bearing services or wherever. Um, and I've tapped an extra hole in it. It already had a grub screw hole with 6mm. And I've tapped another one and I've wired that to the carrier plate so it doesn't rattle too much. And set this up between centres. A nice sharp tool in there. So a bit of oil on the centre there. And everything ready to go, so I guess it's probably time to do some machining. So we'll we'll put a few cuts on here and um, we'll have another look at it. Yeah, well there's a few cuts later and it's getting pretty close. Um, it doesn't look too bad there at all. That's about where it's sitting there. Um, it's about where I think it needs to be to bottom out. The problem with this chuck is that it doesn't have a hole right through, so if you ever want to get the taper or the arbor back out properly, you're going to need a drift in there. So I've left a bit of a ledge there, I don't know if it's enough, but it will certainly make a difference, I hope. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set that up again and just polish that up a bit, and um, I think we're done with this end. So there we are. Um, that's the taper. It's got a pretty fine finish cut on there. I didn't clean it up too much and want to, don't want to buckle it too much with a bit of emery tape or a file. But a bit of a chamfer on the end and a bit of a land. I think that looks pretty good. And there it is in the chuck. Um, it's not in tight but it won't go in much further I don't think um, so it's time to set the other end up and do the same we'll see how we go with that so what I've done is set this other this other centre backwards in the chuck and set the DTI on it and we've got our cross slide somewhere near um, it's pretty close written on there to two, to two degrees included. And have a look at this dial. There's not a lot of movement there. I'm pretty happy with that and I'm going to go ahead and um, set it up again and machine the rest of the taper. So I set this up um, I put the carrier back on here like this um, just on the metal I don't think it'll mark it too much with that grub screw it didn't mark the other end you can see a little scratch there but that's all I was going to put a bit of masking tape under there, but I couldn't get anything really to stick to the smooth surface, so um, I didn't trust it much if I could, so I've just put it back on there, and I don't think it'll hurt it much, and this side will be in the tape, in the chuck, and you'll never ever see it anyway. Um, I've marked here at the right distance for the length of the taper, and I've gone through and I've... Um, excuse my dirty fingers I've gone through and touched the tool up again so that we've got a nice fresh start a bit of oil in the centre there in the dead centre and everything's set up something I was going to say about setting up a taper with a DTI is that you've got to make sure that your DTI is right on the centre of the work um, if it's not on the centre height then you'll get a, a, an incorrect reading by quite a lot. So you've got to be careful of that um, and get it pretty close. So we're ready to go, I think. We'll set this tool up. I haven't tightened it down yet. 
it's all on centre height and I think we can probably start machining. Just check the oil in then. And this one up here. Might be a bad idea. And I tend to run a bit in here too. Um, one day I'd probably like to machine one of those rollers out and put, or both those, those loose rollers out and put a, a decent roller bearing in or something, I'm not sure yet. Um, there was no wear in them as there were and I guess they've done some work so we might live with it for a bit. So, might have a bit of a look in here. And there yeah, we're right out. It's been a while since we did any, since we did the last bit. So we'll chop that up. Put the lid back on. And we'll chop this one up too, I think, if it's got any out of it. Yeah. That one's pretty well down too. So there we go. Plenty of oil. So we've cleaned that up now. Um, it all looks pretty good to me. It's seems to be cutting pretty nice. So it's a pretty light cut there, but certainly doing the job. So here we go, I've given this a polish up with oil stone and smoothed the corners up a bit. I think we're about done. Um, that taper fits the tail stock nicely and that taper fits the drill chuck nicely. So there we go. It's about where it should be. And all looks pretty good. I'm not going to push it all together because um, I might not ever get it apart. And I had thought about hardening and tempering it, but I have to find someone to do that. I don't think I've got anything that will heat it hot enough to do a nice job of it here. Um, we'll find someone who might. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And of course the proof will be in how close to centre it is, but I think it won't be far out if we've done it between centres. So thanks for watching and 
yeah, that's part two. We're all done.